And so, without further ado, I'd like to have um, these two graduate students, or not graduate students anymore, come with their team and show you what we've been working on and how this is going to change the world. So, I'd like to introduce you, Eric and Keenan. Thank you. years ago when we were starting our PhD program at the Stanford in robotics. And we started where a lot of people start, by saying, all right, let's go get a robot and then do something new with it. And we went to buy the robot, but you just couldn't get the robot. So, so we made our PhD project about that robot. A robot that someone could just get and develop new things on top of. We firmly believe that that missing platform, the platform that turns what's today a hardware problem into a software problem, is the missing ingredient holding the community back from building the personal robotics industry that Scott laid out. What we're doing here is building that missing platform. There are two parts to the solution. One is the hardware, the PR2 robot, and the other half is the software platform, ROS, stands for Robot Operating System. Our vision for ROS is for it to become the Linux of robotics, a free, open source platform for people to build on, a platform for both researchers and industry to support innovation, and to support commercialization, and building real companies on top of it. In the design of ROS, we put a lot of focus into lowering the barriers to entry so we can build a bigger community. You can write code in whatever language you want to, it's easy to integrate existing software, and it's easy to run ROS across many different hardware platforms, not just the PR2. ROS is currently running on dozens of robots, including some that we've never seen before, in institutions all over the world. Many of those same institutions are taking the ROS code and releasing it open source. There are 24 different institutions that right now are putting code online you can go download, build on top of, either build your research on top of or build a company on top of. Due to this adoption by the community, we've recently passed uh, the milestone of having 1,000 different packages, pieces of software that somebody can take and use independently on a different robot in the ROS ecosystem, which we're really excited about. This adoption has been faster than we ever imagined it would be. And we think that it really demonstrates that ROS is meeting the need the community feels for a common platform everyone can build on top of. So ROS provides the software. into a software problem going forward. Good. So now we have that robot and we'd like to show it to you. Introducing PR2. Proud of PR2, as you can tell. 
And we're very excited about the potential applications that people have been coming to us with for a platform like this. Applications in the home, application, applications enabling independence for those with disabilities and aging populations. Industrial applications, including pick and pack, including stocking grocery store shelves, and even light assembly work. Before we move ahead, we want to do a couple of thank yous and acknowledgements. So first of all, we want to thank the kick-ass Willow Garage teams, the hardware teams, the software teams. <laughs> Teams and the production teams who made PR2 a reality. Certainly, that's going to be clapping for a while. So. <laughs> <laughs> we also want to thank the Greater Ross community for their countless contributions to this project. The folks at Stanford who supported us from the beginning and continue to be leaders in this community. And finally, the over 100 visitors who have spent between weeks, but typically months, from around the world here at Willow Garage as we've been developing this robot and Ross to make it what it is today. You've all earned our thanks and the thanks of the community. So we'd like to highlight for you now one of those visitors' accomplishments. So the folks from the University of California, Berkeley, who are here with us tonight as a part of the beta program. Are they here? Where are you guys? Yeah. Woo! Uh, so they set out at the beginning of last year to build a towel folding robot. Okay? They started where most of us started. They first integrated their hardware and then built up their software capabilities. By November of last year, they had a towel folding robot. They could fold towels at a success rate of 6%. Then, <laughs> then, one of the students from the project was given a night access to one of the PR2 Alpha prototypes here at Willow Garage for about two months. And by the end of those two months, he got PR2 folding towels at a success rate of 10 times as long, and each of the robots is going to be used on many projects. Besides folding 50,000 towels, we think that we can accomplish some really new things with the robot. And so we think this offers an amazing potential and a great new opportunity. The PR2 and Ross are an opportunity for the robotics community to start building on top of a common platform, to start sharing work more effectively and stop reinventing the wheel, and really to push robotics into new applications and to explore areas we've never been able to explore before. So with that, I'd like to welcome the stars of this party, the PR2 Beta Program Robots. 